Hiya folks, we just welcome to this little video here where we are going down a ragged apron. They've got a special opening today and we've been asked to do it for them. So let's get out there, get down there, see what it's all about. See you in a minute. Right folks, here we are. We are down the ragged apron, a little bit later than what we thought we was gonna be. Uh, we did turn up at three o'clock today, didn't we, Dale? You did, yeah. Yeah, but you were still cutting stuff and making stuff up and all that. Got the rollers out, the wallpaper paint and everything. Anyway, so, it's been a long time coming. You've had this plan for a while, Dale, haven't you? We've had a cool. plan. We only started doing this in January. So uh, we, 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 we've done quite a lot of work, as you'll see. So anyway. about a year. Now you've also asked no, about, about two, January. About two this January. About two, two, months. <laughs> two, two months, one day a week. You've also expanded out the back, which you did last year. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. and obviously in the winter, that's um, obviously no one's going to sit out there in the winter. No, unless they're crazy. But now it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, shout, isn't it? We've been round here, haven't we? We oh, know. Yeah, we're lucky. So what we're going to do first? Now we're going to cut the ribbon. We're going to open it up officially because tomorrow morning, Saturday the twenty fourth you'll be ushered into the new part. You'll be standing here when you walk in the door. Normally, what you would do, you'd, you'd be seated out in this little area here. But now, you'll be standing here, you'll wait to be seated, and then you'll be taken through to paradise, through there. So let's cut the ribbon, let's get it officially opened, and then you can see what's the other side of the door. Not the green door, Sharon. It's not the green door? No. Come on in, let's go do it. Couple of celebrities to uh, open up our new side. Oh, here we go! Look, I don't know where they are, but I think we've got these two off the street. I can't wait to see it, folks. I can't wait to see it. Got this is the little ribbon now. Okay, it's only a little ribbon. Show us the only one we can find, wouldn't it? Well, done for some over six foot. We don't need a big ribbon. Get on with it, baby. We declare <laughs> the ragged apron open cafe, cafe. modifications open. In we go. Let's have a look at this, folks. Hi everybody, we'd like to welcome you to the Ragged Apron Cafe. You can dine out with your family and friends in style in our recently opened cafeteria. Soak up the atmosphere, enjoy the quirky ambience of the place. Drink at our non-alcoholic bar. You can have fun dining with your friends and family in superb surroundings friendly atmosphere and also friendly staff to cater for your every need. Enjoy a fully cooked home meal by our super chef Dell and Nicola. Why not take your partner, friends and family down to the Ragged Apron Cafe in Woodall Spa. Well there you go folks, I think you'll agree they've done an absolutely fantastic job. This was the old pub, the old bar in here. But now it is a cafe. A it's cafe. put a little bit above the E, which makes it a cafe. But you still do all the food themselves. None of it's shipped out. Everything's cooked on premises, folks, as you well know. The value for money is absolutely excellent here. There's nowhere in the, in the village, the main village there, that can compete. And people go out of their way to come down here. And don't forget, if you are one of our subscribers, you've got the book to sign as well. You'll also have a free sticker if you ask them, and they'll be willingly happy to give you one. You do the Sunday roast still, that you're still doing yeah, that now. Still but still Mark, it's not only the food, it's the staff. Eh? Yeah, it's the staff. Oh, here we go. And the customers. And, exactly, exactly. Loads of return customers. The furthest I think you've had them is from Australia. Yeah. Is that right? You've even had them, Dale, phone you up for bookings in advance yeah. from Australia to come to your cafe. Yes, Isn't it? definitely. And can I just get one thing straight? Who is the actual boss? Now, a lot of people say it's you, Dal, but I think the real boss has just stepped I'm into the equation the now. She's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> She's the hardest worker. She, shame she don't get paid. Get she paid. looks after the front. <laughs> Dal does all the cooking out the back. And I think, I don't know, do you get involved in the cooking at all, Nicola? I'll show him what to do. <laughs> Who taught him? Hey? Who taught him? Who Just like you, Sharon, you do all the cooking on our venture, yeah, yeah. don't you? Like that. Yeah. Anyway. 
So do come and say hello. If you've never been here before, do pop down a ragged apron. Do come and say hello to Dale, Nicola, and also the staff as well. They've got some lovely staff here as well, always very attentive and caring. And one thing, you do accept dogs in here, but now you've extended this bit, for example, past these doors, this is going to be a dog, not for dogs, yeah, but you can still bring your dogs in yeah. through the other side for the original bit there, and also out the back there as well, yeah, is that no correct? Problems, yeah, definitely. And also, if you've got a wheelchair access or something like that, they have, there's plenty of floor room in there to, yeah. to pull a wheelchair in, there's no steps or anything, you can get straight in there as well. So there you go, folks. That's the inside view of the Ragged Apron late at night. And it's like a bleeding social, uh, uh, it's like a club, isn't it? I'm quite it relaxed is. in it, it's it quite chill. It is quite relaxed in here. Yeah, it's an al alcoholic beer, it would be all right, but it's all non-alcoholic. Yeah, you can drink in here, but as I say, it's, it's non-alcoholic beer. And to be honest with you, I think the, the non-alcoholic stuff is a lot better now yeah, there than what it used to yeah, be. Yeah, they've got a great quality. Test, don't test they've got the side, um, Guinness, pretty yeah. much everything now. Yeah. Anyway, so that's it. That's the Ragged Apron. You've seen it first, folks. And don't forget, come down here. I know loads of you have done, but do come down here, say hello, order something. You'll be totally blown away. And it's only, well, opposite the JJ's Petrol Garage. And the main entrance is still going to be the original entrance out yeah. the side where you'd normally come in. So. You won't be walking in the front door, you'll be coming in exactly the same entrance around the side there, so don't forget that's the way in. Don't come to the front door, which used to be the old door to the pub, because that is no longer uh, uh, an entry or an exit point. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you later on. Who knows where we're going to be? Come on in, shall. Let's do the washing up, baby. I got that done it. <laughs>
too. Makes life a lot easier, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it's easier for us. He yeah. pays on his phone, don't you? Yeah, the railway station is very, very busy, the underground. Well, so was the other one. It's about half past ten, so, uh, and it is a Saturday. We prefer a lot quiet in this show, don't we? Oh, hello. Going down. Going down to underground. Underground, under... Ground. Well, ground, yeah, why not? Piccadilly light, the uh, left and we're looking for the westbound platform. Down again, Sharon. Lower. Down even deeper into London's past history, Sharon, into yes. the soil. Here we go. Second escalator down. So the Piccadilly line is quite a deep one, Sharon. Isn't it? I wonder what one's the deepest. Don't know. No wonder how deep you do go. I think this must be it, surely. Be like in America where they shut the doors on you. Yeah. All your briefcases hanging on the outside of the door. <laughs> right, now we're on the underground. Totally different experience. And also very, very noisy folks, isn't it Sharon? Very noisy. Hold on for dear life, baby. I am. Listen to that folks. Right, just getting off at South Penn, Sharon. And just looking at these seats, Sharon, I didn't know that. Jimmy just pointed out, look. The patterns on the seats is for the London Eye. Never realised that. No, I didn't. South Kensington. South Kensington, folks, here we are. The district and circle There we go. Well under the ground. There we go, folks. Never touch the insulated line in the middle, otherwise you'll be killed. High voltage. Isn't that right, Sharon? What's that in there? The line down there, high voltage. Oh, yeah, scary. Right, here we are, just come out of uh, South Kensington Station. And I must say, London looks very much the same when you come out of every station, shouldn't it? I, tell you, I know where we can go now. Where? I think I'm purchasing a new Lamborghini. You're not having a Lamborghini, Sharon. <laughs> so, where are we going, Jimmy? You don't know yet? Not yet. No, we've got an hour and a half to kill. An hour and a half to kill. So, we do, you have to get on the old street view to find out where we're going, though, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Sharon? Yes. Let's go and find a cup of coffee somewhere. <laughs> deal, deal. Yeah, loads of uh, eateries up and around London area, folks. Trouble is, you're going to be paid top, top dollar here, Sharon, aren't you? Yeah. We're just probably going to look for somewhere to eat, maybe a bit later. Probably I want to try a bit of fish and chips, shall we, without the chips? Try without the fish as well? No, we've got to do that. Can you imagine how small the portions would be here, though? I know, yeah. Well, I'm looking for a big bit of fish, that's what I'm looking for. You won't get that up here? No, just in front of us. Is that the Natural History Museum? Yeah, I can't remember. Do you have to pay to go in there? We could go in there. Pass some time. Shout out, the last time we went in there, mm -hmm. they wanted three pounds for a can of Coke, and I will not paying it, remember? I mean, just to walk around to pass time. Yeah, I can't. I don't know whether you've got to pay to get in here anymore. What's all these blue things? Who's that? Blue Sir plaque John on the wall. Lavery. Who is it? Painter. Lavery. Sir John. Never heard of him. Sir John Lavery. 1856 to 1941 painter lived here. There you go. There's one over the road. Look, they're all over. you are in London, love. You'll all find right. lots of blue plaques. That's a regal old building. That um, museum there, folks. Charles Look at that. James Freak. Remember going in there as a kid, Sharon? With the school or whatever. <laughs> and we went there as an adult, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, a good few years back now, and uh, it was nothing like what you remembered as a kid. And wasn't that the Science Museum over there? Yeah. That one? Yeah, I preferred the Science Museum. You had the Natural museum. History there, the one where you've got the big dinosaur when you walk in. Uh, and then you've got the um, Science yeah. Museum over there. And carry on down here, Shane, if I remember rightly. This leads you straight into the Piccadilly Circus. Yes. If I'm right, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Oh, that's where we're going. Oh yeah, look. What's that? That's where we're going for his suit. Oh, in there? There you go, that's a bit plush, Jimmy. Right opposite the, um, that's easy to remember, isn't it? That's oh. where he's going for his suit, folks. We can't show you none of that, that's though. That's right in the shop as well. Because uh, it's a big secret, Jimmy. Yeah. 
Just walking a little bit further on, folks, I think that is the Victoria and Albert Museum. It's been such a long time since we've been here, Shell, I can't quite remember. Oh, yeah, I can see it, V&A. It is the V&A. Yeah. yeah, I mean, don't forget, we moved out of London 24 years ago this year, and um, it's... But even though we lived in London, this wasn't the place that we'd always come to. No, but we used to drive yeah. through here to yeah. go to Piccadilly Circus. We used to go down to Piccadilly Circus at about half past nine, ten o'clock at night, park up there and go for a slice of pizza by the Trocadero yeah, Centre. Take the kids to see the Christmas yeah. lights. Camping stove in there. Eh? It's you, the coach. Camping stove in the back of his uh, coach there. Look. <laughs> hey, I look. Show the grand entrance. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure whether you got to pay to get in there, Sharon. I think you have. You never used to, though, no, did you? All museums were free once, weren't yeah. they? So now we know where the shop is for Jimmy. We've got a bit of time to kill. And uh, let's say we're looking for something to eat. Now, there's loads of bistro type places here, Sharon, aren't there? Yeah. But we don't want none of them. We're not paying a blinking fortune for something small you get on a plate. We're looking for a good old standard chip shop, fish and chip shop, or. Better get on the train and go somewhere else. Or a <laughs> uh, kebab where we can have plenty of meat. Now, look, how much are you paying to live here, Sharon? Fortune. Right absolutely. opposite the sort of Victorian Albert Museum. Yeah. How much are you paying to this property? Amazing. What we do tend to forget when we're walking at street level is forget what the buildings or the grandeur of the buildings are, Sharon. When you actually look up... Yeah, how long they've been standing as well, haven't you they? see how detailed the balustrades are and all the brickwork and, all, and how regal the buildings look. Because all you've shown down at this level is all stuff they think you want to see to draw you in. That's where the real artwork is, up there, look. Amazing. Here, shall look. What? Is it San Remo coffee yeah. machines? Now, this isn't quite like our law one, Sharon. How much right now cost? Well, it's for shops, isn't it? I, I don't know. think. A few bob, isn't it? There's a nil one here, though. Look. Has it got a price on it? Does all your frothy? No. Do you know why? They're so dear, shall. They don't need to put a price in, and you're not worried about the price no. when you buy from these sort of shops. That's right. Putting the price in the window for these sort of people will be classed as vulgar, Sharon. Vulgar. Absolutely vulgar. Yeah? Believe it or not, Sharon, this road here, which we used to come along probably about 40 miles an hour, going back 25 years, 30 years even, this is a 20 mile an hour limit now, folks. We've just seen a big flash Porsche pull out, driving along here. 20 miles an hour? Why have a Porsche? <laughs> eh? Why have a Porsche in London? Well, they, they don't want cars going down here. That's the idea of it. All they want is public transport. 20 miles an hour. That's doing more than 20. He's doing more than 20. All these cars down here are doing more than 20 miles an hour, Sharon. 20 miles an hour. What happened with 30 miles an hour? Why has suddenly gone down to 20? Strange, isn't it? Anyway. I'll tell you what though, Sharon, I thought you'd see more cyclists along here. Is there cyclist provisions here? It's not real, is there? No. Yeah, there's normally I thought you'd have like a cycle lane or whatever. Oh, yeah, I just said that, Sharon. Look what turns up. Yeah, but that's his own bike, isn't it? <laughs> so we're back to the... Uh, Natural History Museum over the road there, Sharon. Yeah, lovely. Which looks museum. like it's had a, a bit of a sandblast. It's very clean, isn't it? It is very clean. Right, well, we're not going to have anything to eat. We've had a little walk down there. All these bistro stuff, some pubs and little bra brasseries, shall They're all uh, wanting extortionate amounts of yeah, money. You come it. down here, Jimmy, didn't you? Yeah. The last time you was down here, you was walking down towards Harrods where we, we didn't quite go that far. And how much did you pay for breakfast for two people? 40 quid. 40 quid, and we ain't going to be doing that, folks. Right, I've got and that. it wasn't a big one either, was it? No, time. What's that, Sharon? I've got that totally wrong. Night what? at the museum was not filmed here, but it just looks like it. Probably uh, computer generated, Sharon. New York City American Museum of Natural History it was filmed at. There you go. It must look a lot like that. Robin Williams was in it, Sharon. Yeah, I know, but that just looks out familiar outside. CGI, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're back on the train platform now, folks, and uh, 
You just tried his suit on, Sharon. What was it like? Order, he looked lovely. We did take a picture, but we can't show you no. because he don't want Charlotte to see, does he? Doesn't want nobody seeing. No. Eh? Well, we saw it. Well, only us, yeah. And he didn't have to pay any money up front at the moment. <laughs> money's is it, money's he's vulgar. Happy now. Money's vulgar. <laughs> Wait until he has it fitted. It's gonna, they're going to do some alterations to it, Sharon. That'll bump the price up even more. I know. And uh, you're also looking for little James, little James, what am I talking about? Frank. You're also dealing for little Frank, possibly, to go there to have. Sure, it looks like that picture behind you, someone's on, behind you. <laughs> What's your problem? So, uh, yeah, so what are we doing now then? I don't know. Time wasting. Time wasting. We're back on the... Um, Where is the picture? We'll ask it. South Kent. Once I get on there, we might be a Just waiting for a train to come through, I can hear something rumbling. That's the thing, all these tunnels are quite uh, near together and you can hear a train coming from quite a while away, Shell, can't you? And also you feel the pressure coming through the tunnel, the wind rush, and it's still very busy. What's the time, Sharon? Uh, ten past one. Ten past one here, folks. So um, we're uh, just literally loitering about. So where have we got to go to next? What's the station we're coming off? King's Cross. King's Cross. King's Cross, that's where we're making our way back to and then we decide what we're going to do then. Anyway, yet. see you a bit later, <laughs> folks. Hey? He <laughs> said you look like a maniac in that picture. Oh, fucking hell. Unbelievable. What have you got there? Plowman's. Plowman's, Waitrose. Well, we're back on the train show. We're back two hours early. We were able to get on an earlier train. Uh, LNER again. And uh, this time we got a table. So we did buy some little nibbles. I've got a couple of scotch eggs. What was that you bought, Sharon? Sharon bought some uh, rashes of bacon. And also, it stinks to bleak place down. I just said if there's a bin anywhere. Some Scott smoked salmon slices. And, uh, oh, what's these? Some chicken fillets, mini chicken fillets. So that's what Sharon's got. Oh, here we go. Let's see if this isn't here. Are we on the right train? Yes. <laughs> Oh. oh well, we'll see now about it folks. So we're on here probably for a couple of hours, yeah? No, try an hour. Hour? Yeah. Say, how about that? So we had those one hour to get here. So you can get to London from halfway up the country. Peterborough. Sorry, he was talking to me as well. on the first, is it first day? Second day. Second day of our little visit to the Ragged Apron, everyone, on their, in their new premises, look. Look, people in. Looks absolutely lovely, as you can see. And we're gonna have our first breakfast shower in the new park, aren't we? Yes, we are. And yes. we brought Vegetastic Mum and Project Man along here as well. Hello, Vegetastic Mum, how are hey, you? Hey, hey, thank you. <laughs> and what about you, Project Man, what are you doing? That's nice. He brought us down. That means I found oh, the oh no 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 no! It don't work like that. You actually phoned us up, Sharon, didn't they? So we're going to have a little breakfast down here, and we did have a fantastic time at the uh, Rick Ashley concert, folks. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves, yeah, didn't we? We did. And we had a lovely night sleep in there, and uh, we left early because we we got home because we had to sort out. We're trying to buy a new car for Sharon. Not a new one, not brand new, a second-hand one, but. Um, <coughs> We think we found one, and uh, we're possibly going to look at it tomorrow, which will probably take you along for the ride, if it's still available. It was up on Auto Trader, but um, after I spoke to the bloke and said we'd be down on Monday, it disappeared. So I'm waiting for a phone call back from him. It looks like it's still for sale, we've just oh, done I'm a little check on it. I like. I'm hoping I really like that car. Yeah, so that's coming up, hopefully. <laughs> what are you doing, Project Man? Well, I'm going to take you both to collect your new motorcycle and cycle car tomorrow. You are horrible, Tim, but you know that. <laughs> Annie, motorcycle and cycle car, Sharon, do you fancy it? 
Unbelievable. Anyway, I've got a little cafe here. I do like yeah. these, yeah? These little things. Yeah, no, I like this. It's the next best thing to a coffee thing. machine, isn't it? <laughs> I hey? like them. What you got there? I like that. Oh, you got the old Coke Zero. Yeah, yeah, you like that, didn't you? Oh, anyway, Coke, let's push that down. Evie, can you push that down for me, slowly. darling? <laughs> yeah, don't far, push down fast. Nice and slowly. Slowly as it goes, Sharon. Like that is um, yeah. yeah, kick it. Eh? Go on, a bit more. It's got a little bit of a filter in there. No, don't, don't go too much, yeah? Hold it. There we go. Get it right to the bottom. That's it. Okay, and let's have a go. Let's see how well you've done that, shall we? Good. I like a big mug of coffee, shall we? Yeah. I do. And it's funny, as I say, we've got insulin indoors, haven't we? But we can't really drink it anymore, can we? Why, when you've got pods? Well, that's right. Look at that. Uh -huh. Coffee pods and coffee machine. There we go. Lovely hot cup of coffee, Evie Poppy. Oh yeah, that's got some bite to it, Sharon. A bit like you actually, you got a bit of bite, didn't you? Me too, didn't you, sometimes. Let's wait for our breakfast, folks. And you did mention about our lovely day with Jimmy yesterday. Oh what yeah, nice well, day that, that was. Yeah, that's in the video. Oh, it was a nice day though, wasn't it? Yeah, we baby. was lucky enough to be able to get the train home early, weren't we? Yeah. On the LNE truck. It was booked in at 4.30, was it? Somewhere? So anyway, to travel where we are. was able, we finished quite early, so we was able to jump on at about, was it 1.30, something like that, Sharon? Yeah. No, it was a 203, wasn't it? 203, was it? Something yeah. like that. So, um, yeah, we jumped on that, and lucky enough, you are able, able to do that on an LNER train, which we did. So, um, But always check first. Don't yeah. just do it. No, don't just do it, because you can ex pay extra. Because they check your tickets on the train show, don't they? Yeah. Anyway, so we, we got back home, and then we say we found out that the car wasn't on the uh, Auto Trader website anymore, so I'm just waiting for a phone call back to find out whether or not it's still for sale. I don't think it won't be, because... He was a nice chap who was talking to, plus we've done a few reviews and, on Trustpilot and all that and it seems like a good reputable company but it's about a two and a half hour driveway show isn't it? So yeah. We'll be doing that tomorrow, Monday morning and we'll take you along for the ride. Anyway, let's wait for our breakfast and we'll see you in a minute. Oh well, bad news folks isn't it? We just had the phone call from the chat, it got sold yesterday. Chance of that, it being there, and then because I want it, someone else goes and buys it. It's not a worry. She's not happy being. Oh, not happy. Oh, well, at least you ain't got to go all the way over to Manchester at the Marsh Well, we would have gone without ringing anyway. Yeah. But... Anyway. Oh, well, never mind, shall. Move on, carry on looking. I'm sure the right one will be out there for you somewhere. What do you think, Harry? Will it be out there? We get our new car tomorrow, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, that make you feel better, baby. Have to take the eh? Take, take your mind, <laughs> take your mind off it. There we go, folks. That's our first meal in the uh, new part of the ragged apron, and it looks lovely. We're fully happy with that, Sharon, aren't we? I'm happy with the breakfast, but not about the car. Sharon, don't worry about it. There's always a tomorrow. That's now in the past. No, it's always later. I'm researching in a minute. There's a reason. Yeah, exactly. There is a reason That's why. That's two now. Yeah, but there's yeah. obviously a reason. Yeah. We'll get you one, baby, don't worry. Thing is, you've actually given your car to Jimmy now, haven't you? Yeah. So you're carless. <laughs> Never mind. Well, that was superb. So nice to have a, a breakfast out, isn't it? Isn't it, Harry? I enjoyed it. So we've got to find Sharon another car now, folks. We're on the lookout now. She wanted a black one, but I think we'll have to change the colour and probably go with something slightly different. That's two black ones now we've been uh, knocked back on, so uh, yeah, time to move on. What you got there, Merlin? Merlin, come and show people what you've got there. Look, he does carry his bowl about, Sharon, doesn't he? Yeah. And where's little Dougal? He's got his little bone out there, look. Oh, it's a bit fresh, Sharon. It is a bit fresh, isn't it? It's nice in, when you stand in the sun. Yeah, it is nice when you stand in the sun, baby. So go and stand in the sun, people. Yeah, well, anyway. Well, thanks very much, folks. A little bit of a varied video. Just...
waiting for that. <laughs> Little bit of a varied video this one. And uh, he had us up about four or five times last night, Merlin, didn't he, Sharon? I think it's getting ready for the hedgehogs to come to life. Yeah, because we thought he had the trots first of all, but after three or four times, he was just running out, running around the perimeter of the garden because it was good moon, moonlight here last night, Sharon. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did. And uh, we just see him running about. And this is sort of half 12, one, two o'clock in the morning sort of thing. Bless so. him. <laughs> so in the end, we realised it could be the hedgehog. There is a hedgehog that lives in our garden somewhere. And... Uh, he has, he has brought it in before, shall hasn't he? Dougal's one that brings it in, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And they just dump it, and it's in a little ball, isn't it? Uh. We've had to pick it up twice, I think that's happened just now. We've had to take it out into the garden. There's no way there's just smart in the dust. Out. Well, yeah. Anyway, so thank you very much, folks. Do keep tuned for our uh, And don't vlogs. forget to subscribe and share. Yeah, and uh, we've got Tenerife coming up, as you well know. I hope you did enjoy the Rick Astley stuff. Uh, we did. I have did. A, we had a lovely time there, and uh, it was also nice meeting, I think it was Lorraine and Barry, down the uh, ragged apron when we went down just oh, before yeah. to open it up. Trip home. And thanks again for commenting on there, Lorraine and Barry, and so and also your friend who we did a little FaceTime to as well. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Do keep tuned and also hit the subscribe button, and we'll Please. see you in the next video. We don't know what we might be doing, showing who knows. I do know one thing: we've got that ten ways bike to do a little bit of outside cooking on, which I'll be doing that on my own. And I also know we're not going to go and view the extra. Yes, well, there you go. You'll be looking. Shall we've got time on our side, baby? It doesn't matter, does it? We've got all them cars out there to look for. You will come home with one one day in the near future, hopefully. Anyway, we're going to go, folks. I'm going to edit this video, get it uploaded, and we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.